Hello, dear commanders. It's so nice to see you guys. We bring exciting summary about the recent arena seasons, which will explain some changes there. Let's begin. First, let's talk about the heroes top 1,000 players used in season 60 to 64. Devices buff has brought a big change to the existing battle environment. It looks like the era of Selene being number one in ranking is over. Now the heroes have created a new balanced relationship. Ali counters Devison, Hioni, and Sandok. Devison counters Selene and Hioni. Selene counters Ali, Sandok, Arthur, and Jean. Hioni counters Selene. Sendok counters Hioni. Arthur counters Ali. Jean counters Arthur. Based on the data of the past four seasons, we can see that the usage rate of the first four commonly used defensive heroes is basically unchanged. While Hioni and Zeus are gradually moving away from the top player usage ranking, at the same time, the usage of Arthur and Jean has increased slightly. Above are the basic situation about the arena. Now let's introduce the formations of the key heroes. Firstly, our Ali. As a unique damage output hero, Ali's lineup is quite different from other hero lineups. Since she doesn't have robust support skills, the commonly used DPS troops cannot effectively play their role. Let's talk about three troops with the highest usage rate. They are stone golems that were put in the front and the rear, with usage rate of 100%. Parrot ships that were put in the second row and the rear, with usage rate of 100%. And voodoo dolls that were put in the second row in the middle, back row with usage rate of 99.5%. The average usage for them was 5.4, 6.8, and 8.5, respectively. Then let's take a look at Devison. Devison has very special buffs. He enhances the attack power and max HP of troops. Because of the buff, all kinds of output soldiers are able to have more powerful combat capabilities. On top of that, the unique damage reflection ability is very harmful to the enemy troops with high AoE damage, such as the mages. Let's talk about three troops with the highest usage rate. For all of them, the usage rate was 100%. They are pale tests that were put in the middle of left and right side, frost archers that were put in the fifth and sixth row, and magic apprentices that were placed by our commanders in the front and center of the formation. The average usage for them was 9.4, 8.1, and 6.1, respectively. Selene has been one of the strongest heroes in previous versions. She has one of the most powerful offensive and defensive buffs in the game. Although there is a time limit, she can provide 7 seconds of powerful output done by the troops at a high level. She can guarantee a strong stance against most heroes. At the same time, because Selene has a powerful injury immunity buff in the first 7 seconds, there is almost no need for tank troops to be in the lineup. Commanders with Selene are best to focus on having a continuous damage output in those 7 seconds, so her formations often have a large number of DPS and rushing troops. The usage rate of the first two was 100%. Those troops are Frost Archers. They were put in the 5th and 6th row. Pale tests that occupy the middle of left and right side. Orc Hunters that were put in the center of the formation, with usage rate 98.7% and the average usage for them was 10.2, 9.7, and 5.5, respectively. Sendok's lineup can be set according to the description of her skills. The reliability on the max health of troops to deal damage, which means that high health tank soldiers can be very effectively used with Sendok. At the same time, Sendok gives melee soldiers the ability of AoE, which makes many melee troops reach very good performance when they are paired with Sendok. Let's talk about three troops with the highest usage rate. For the first two, just like with Selene, their usage rate reached 100%. They are Pale Tests. They were primarily put in the middle of left and right side. Magic Apprentices that took the front of the formations. 
and of course ghost assassins that occupy the front and center of the formation, with usage rate 97%. The average usage for them was 9.1, 5.7, and 3.1, respectively. Next, let's take a look at Arthur, whose usage has rebounded in the past few seasons. Arthur is a very comprehensive warrior hero with two different modes. He can heal and provide an injury immune buff to the human race units. At the same time, his abilities also provide shielding and a buff that increases attack speed. His legendary ability has good damage capabilities. The three troops with the highest usage rate for Arthur were Pale Tests, Magic Apprentices, and Ghost Assassins. Pale tests are put in the middle of left and right side, whereas magic apprentices occupy the front and center of the formation. For both of them, the usage rate was 100%. As for pirate ship, whose usage rate was 98.5%, they occupy the second row and the rear. The average usage for them was 10.3, 5.8, and 5.1. Finally, let's take a look at Hioni, who has always been very strong but has become weaker recently. She has one of not many long distance control abilities in the game. She can effectively assist troops in dealing high damage after unlocking her legendary skill. At the same time, passive skills can be effective in weakening the enemy's output abilities. In general, Hioni helps soldiers in terms of output and survivability and has an advantage when the enemy hero's time-restricted skills have been used. Let's talk about three troops with the highest usage rate for her. They are Pale Tests, usage rate 100%, and they were put mainly in the middle of left and right side. Next up, Pirate Ships that were placed by our commanders in the right and left side of the second row and the rear. Their usage rate 100% as well and Frost Archers that were put in the 5th and 6th row, with usage rate 97%. And the average usage for them was 6.8, 6.7, and 9, respectively. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please subscribe this channel and give us a thumbs up. Leave the comments below or find us at Discord. See you in our next video.